Today, we're gonna let you know about the PXG Gen 5 full bag deal. Tate and I both got fitted at the start of the season. We played an entire season with a full Gen 5 bag. A lot of golf. We're gonna give you our thoughts on what it's like to get fitted at PXG and if it's worth getting fitted for a full bag because guess what? Gen 5 bag right now is $29.99. Yeah, it's a smoking deal. Yeah, I paid over six grand. Yeah. That'll take you off. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, don't forget if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom today. You can get fitted uh, for multiple brands here at Embers. We got a couple brands. We just picked up Mizuno yep. Golf Line. Check out some Mizuno clubs. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, do all the things, smash all the buttons, helps yeah. us out a lot. Do everything you can. It's everything. Huge. It's huge. Everything. Okay, so I'm gonna talk queso. 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 No. You said queso. Did I? I said K. So ah, comma. Two words. So comma. Got it. Yep. K. So we're talking Gen 5 bags here. Now here's the thing. Tell us the thing, brother. $29.99 for a full bag, smoke and deal. Is it worth it? The simple answer is yes. But tell me a little bit about that. What does that $28.99 entail? Let's, let's do 14 clubs in a bag. Whoa. And that includes the upgraded Sugar Daddy 2 wedges. Which is the most expensive club in the bag. Yes. So if you do $29.99, let's say you subtract 300 bucks for the cost of a bag, you're down to $26.99 divided by 14 clubs. That's $192 a club. Which for PXG Gen 5, that's unheard of. Yeah, I mean, you're paying more per club on the irons, but you're, pay you're getting your money's worth on the woods yeah. and the sugar daddy wedges. Yep. So if you're gonna, if you need, we fitted people before and, and they'll just do just like drivers and hybrids and yep. they'll spend like eight, 900 bucks. I'm like, man, you're almost like two thirds of the way towards a full bag and then just sell off what you don't need because you get such a better value yeah, for the $29.99. Yeah. Here's the catch though. Tell me the catch. There's gotta be a catch. Unless you're just buying it right on their shopping cart on the website, if you get fitted, yeah. what percentage of people are actually leaving there spending $29.99? Not, it's not high. No. It's a low percentage that low they're percentage. staying there. I bet you less than 5%. Um, Why is that? Because there's a lot of upgrades that are actually worthwhile. Yeah. Some that are not. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do is price out our full bags and see what they're worth now. Um, I'm going to get to at the end of this video why I'm ticked off because I spent so much more money and they dropped the price so fast. Um, not cool. It's not cool. No. Don't like that. I don't like being taken advantage of. It's probably one of my least favorite things. <laughs> I don't think they're taking advantage. They just <laughs> drop the price. Yeah. So um, here's the thing. It's a marketing thing, being in retail for 14 years, owning my own retail store. Let me give you an example of why you're not getting out of there for $29.99. Okay, so I'm gonna give you an example. This is a barbecue part of our showroom. Uh, you wanna check out our far, fireplace and fire? Far. Fire. A fire place. Lord Jesus, there's a fire. <laughs> uh, check out our barbecue and fireplace channel. We'll include links below to that. Okay, so this grill, um, there's a step down version of this for $999. We advertise it for $999. Uh, the manufacturer advertises it for $999. We never sell the grill that actually costs never $999. Never. The reason why is for a couple hundred bucks, for $1199, you can get a rotisserie kit and a side burner. And the side burner is going to cost you well more than $200 if you were to add it on. So here's the thing. It's not that we're trying to um, upgrade people to stuff that they don't need. It's just educating them on the extra value they can get for only a few hundred bucks. Yeah. And then it turns into our best selling grill. Yeah. But the advertisement or the lost leader is what they call it in sales is to advertise a grill for under $1,000 and then actually show them something that they're it's gonna, gonna actually add a lot of value. Add a lot of value to the grill. So it's not being dishonest. It's not purposely trying to mark no. things up or, or sell people stuff they don't need. It's just, uh, you're really not gonna leave here with a 999 grill because you're gonna get in here and see that there's better options available right. for you. Yeah. So that's, I think, what's happening. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go through Tate's bag and price out what his bag would cost with the actual upgrades because like we said, you're really not getting out of there for $29.99. No. So let's start with your driver. Okay. So Tate has the Gen 5 driver. And by the way, as we go through these, tell me what clubs you like, what clubs you like the best, and what clubs you don't like. Yeah, so with my Gen 5, we'll start here with this driver. This was probably the first driver I've ever had that I would roll up to a par five 
and I wasn't concerned at all about where it was going. I mean, occasionally I'd have a miss hit, but this mm -hmm. changed my game. I mean, I was three, plus 300 on a regular basis, and I could even shape it the way I wanted to, which I've never had with a driver before. So this Gen 5. So it works it is what yeah, you're saying. It changed, it changed my golf bag. Forever. Okay, but you don't have a stock shaft on there, right? No, I have the Ventus 6X. I just plugged in Tate's shaft upgrade. So that, that's a $300 shaft upgrade. So right now you're telling me that this shaft is more than the driver. Yeah, if you buy the driver by itself, it's 289. But just the shaft upgrade is 300 bucks. Now do you have that same shaft on? No, different shafts. I went uh, more basic shaft on the four wood. Do you like that? Yeah, it does good for me. Okay. Solid little baby draw. Well, let me get to the This one I got woods. the H-Z-R-D-U-S. The four wood, now this, this club was a, a little bit weird for me. I would take this club here at altitude and I would carry it like 260, 270. Finished, I was at like 285. Okay, so you got a stock shaft on that. Yeah. Okay, and then what's your other wood? My hybrid, my hybrid has a upgrade, I think. The high B? My hybrid's got yeah, that. Tell, tell me about the high B. The hybrid's got the graphite design, DI-85, stiff flex, extra stiff it looks like. This hybrid was huge for me because controllability on long par fives, I could get this club up to 250, 265, which for a hybrid was awesome for me. And I could crush it. This is the one that's like a fairway finder. So I'm off the box. I can't hit a huge bomb. There might be a, a river or something. This is the club I could, I could pop that low stinger and just let it fade, you know, 250, 260. Okay. And what do we got here? The graphite design, Tour AD. So we're at $29.99, right? Yep. Then we have a $300 shaft upgrade on the driver. $200 shaft upgrade $200 on the hybrid. $200 shaft upgrade on the hybrid. Okay, talk to me about your irons. So you upgraded to the, 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 the Black Elite, The Project right? XLZ. No, no, your head. Oh yeah, the Black Elite, yep. So the Black Label Elite. Now when you upgrade to the Black Label Elite, you're gonna pay $50 more a club head. Per club head? Per club head. They snuck that one in. But you get the free shaft upgrade. Oh, okay. So this was a $40 shaft, but then you upgraded 50 bucks for the black, so you paid an extra $10 for it. Yeah. So we'll do 50 times 10, so that's 500 bucks, because you're at 34.99 plus 500. Yeah, so that's the bag that comes standard. So take out the nicer hybrid stand bag that has gonna have the magnetic thing here, the putter holder, and that was, I think, a $200 upgrade. Yeah, and that's, by the way, this was worth it. This bag yeah. is awesome. It's, it's not a tour bag, but it's also not a, a really light stick bag. It's the perfect blend of the two for cart golf and even walking. I've walked a couple rounds with this and it's not that bad. I just empty out some of my crap. So you're at $39.99. Then we have 13 grip upgrades. Mm -hmm. Times 30. At 30. And you're at $39.99. Plus the hybrid bag upgrade at 150. So you have 45.39. Ooh. 45.40. Oh my gosh. Ooh, it's getting up there. Yeah. So. Some PTSD. That being said, Tate's gonna hit a few. And I mean, he's gonna tell you what his favorite club is. All right, let's do mine quick. Okay. I actually, I know these are all $300 upgrades. I don't yeah, they're need all the same. Look. 369. Your shafts are, your iron shafts are a little different. Though, yeah, right? let me check my iron shafts. Cause I know what everything else is. He got the NS Pro Modus 3. Stiff Flex Tour 105. So I was, did the same exact thing. I had the $29.99 base price, but I have a driver, four wood, and seven wood. And I also did a shaft upgrade as well, but each shaft was a $300 upgrade. So that's 900 bucks. Thin okay. three clubs. I also did the Black Label Elite. So that's gonna be $50 upgrade times, so I got five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, pitching gap, 56 and 60, so I got nine. So what's nine times 50? 500, 40, 400 minus five. So 400, 450 bucks. Then I have the exact same bag upgrade for 150, the hybrid bag. 
Yeah, forty. So we're both around forty-five hundred bucks yeah. for a set. If what we, we paid if today. we did this exact set right now. So um, we're still paid two grand more at the time we got them. Yeah. Ugh, don't like that. I'm gonna talk about that in my conclusion. Okay. Real quick, Tate. What surprised you out of these clothes? Hold on one second. Yeah. In the comment section below, let us know what you think of our bags. I've been told on the course by total strangers they think my bag is a little gaudy, the white and black. That hurt my feelings a little bit. Mm -hmm. But let us know what you like. Do you like the murdered out? What's your edition called? The, ex the extreme dark? Yeah, the extreme dark. The extreme dark. Let us know what you think. It's pretty cool. I've seen it go both ways. It's pretty cool. All right. What's been a surprise to you out of the bag? Like one of your favorite clubs? Okay. So my favorite club in the bag is this bad boy right here. You've seen it a couple, on a couple of shorts, me sticking it close on some par threes here on the sim. The biggest thing for me is I brought, I was playing the Nike, Nike Vapor Flies. When I brought those to the, to the session, or even now, because I still have the bag, my PXGs go probably 10 yards further per club. So if my eight iron before went 160, 170, my new, this eight iron goes like 180. 174 carry, which is crazy for an eight iron. For me, it revolutionized my game. The other thing PXG went for me is I was riding probably a 13 handicap before yeah. my new set. I got down to a 5.6, a 5.6 a handicap in the middle of the season. Yeah. I dropped eight points. I cut, shot a couple rounds in the 70s. Yep. All right, hit a few with the eight yeah. iron. Show us, show us what they do. So I will say with their Gen 5 irons, I've, I've had a bag of Gen 4s and Gen 3s. The Gen, let's see this. Oh yeah. Hold that one a bit. We're at sea level, or uh, altitude two, so we're at 5,200 feet. So 185 yards. One more, one more for us. Wow, we. So 190 yards, so. Butter, just butter. Obviously, the, I think the claim to fame to PXG was their irons. I think the irons has always been the strongest part Beautiful of their portfolio. Clubs, yeah. And the Gen 5 is definitely the softest feeling iron I've ever hit. Yeah. It is genuinely very soft. It's now, like I've, hitting a blade. I've had a very different experience than Tate. I've had a really bad summer, and uh, my handicap has gone Tell up. Tell us about it, yeah. It's gone up, I just. This I is like a therapy session for Trevor. Yeah. I don't know what's going on, but the irons feel great. I'll just show you here. Let's hit a little seven iron out here. So I did the same thing. I upgraded the grips. Oh, that counted as a shot. Whoopsie. Seven, the irons, as always, just feel great. Oh yeah, look at that. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. No, nope, on a line. I mean, it doesn't get any straighter than that. No. Yeah. 192 yards, I'll take that all day. Feels fantastic. I think the biggest surprise for me is we all know their irons are really good. Um, biggest surprise in the bag by far was the Gen 5 driver for me. Yeah. Um, their Gen 4 driver is not very strong. I didn't particularly like it. Um, I didn't even know if I was gonna keep it in the bag. But what do you think, tell me about the Gen 5. Why don't you yeah. hit one for us? So my Gen 5 driver, Every driver I've had, I have a very hard swing, probably harder than I need to be swinging, but every driver I've had in the bag was just kind of like, is it gonna go, am I gonna push it 50 yards right? Am I gonna pull it 30 yards left? The Gen 5 driver was the first club, the first driver I should say, that I was able to get into the box and swing hard and be confident in where it was going. Blew my mind, it changed, it's changed golf for me, is this, this, this driver. I don't know if it's because it's fitted to me or the, the better shaft, or what, it just feels really good. There it is. So it's a very, very consistent club. In some of our other videos, we've actually tested it against the Titleist TSR, Taylor Made Stealth, Great Big Bertha, the Rogue ST. It defeated, it took them all down. You can go watch those videos. Um, this driver, especially with the shaft upgrade, took them all down, yeah. except a new video we have coming out we had one club that might have dethroned it. The 425. Oh man. Woo -wee. Woo -hoo -hoo. It's just as good. If not, maybe a little better. So I'll try to hit one. Now my shot's a little baby fade. So this is one of the upgrades for me that was worth it. The shaft upgrades in the woods, 
I hit my seven wood just great. I know I'm getting old, I'm playing a seven wood, but little baby fade, watch this. There it is. Still got plenty of carry to it. I don't hit it as far as Tate. 230, that's a you know medium shot for me. So anyways, very, very consistent and very, very happy with the driver. Uh, what's an upgrade you wouldn't do, Tate? If I was going back right now, hmm. For me, tell me. Here's the one, the club I'm most disappointed with. Um, Oof, I, I knew that was gonna come. Sugar Daddies. Tell me why. Um, so it is a perfectly milled club. Yeah. And the sell on it for me, when well, the sales, the sell I got on it, is you know on a you know a regular club that's not milled. They take Nike would give Tiger Woods you know 20 lob wedges. Yeah. And he could tell the center of gravity was off immediately right. and he'd dismiss it until he'd find the perfect two or three for him. Mm -hmm. With a perfectly milled club, the club consistency through the manufacturing process is identical throughout the process. Yeah. Here's the problem. One major problem. Don't be afraid to tell me. I'm not Tiger Woods. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? I didn't want to be the one to tell you, but I had, I had yeah. a feeling for a long, long time. You saw it coming? Yeah. So the center of gravity being off, on a forged club or on just their regular forged uh, wedge, I would not be able to tell a difference. And that regular forged wedge looks really it good. Both have good. the high toe. Um, here's the thing though. The Sugar Daddies come standard right now on that full bag deal. So Which if, is huge. Yeah. Here's what else is weird. This is $250 wedge. $250 wedge, the driver's 289. So in the full bag deal, it makes sense, but if you're watching this video a few months from now and for whatever reason the sugar daddies aren't included, I would skip that as an upgrade because I don't see, can I? You may. Can I? Yep. I don't see, I don't see or feel, I mean, it's just, a, it's just a piece of metal. It's not like there's any extra technology outside of the weight in here, which is and gonna there's match there's golfers out there that it will make a difference. Yes, I'm just an, not one of them. But on an amateur level, yes. What do you think of the look? I like them. And I like the weight of them, they're heavy. Yeah. So a little 50 yard pitch shot. Told you. Ah, 52. Uh, I'm not telling the difference. So if I have to pay for the Sugar Daddy upgrade, I wouldn't do it again. I would just get the regular 0311. But while they're wedges. including it, it is a phenomenal oh, yeah, wedge. I'm gonna take advantage yeah. of it. All right, how's the black holding up? Well, that's a question we get a lot, is is the black holding up compared to like the chrome? Okay. So here is my wet, my 60 degree, which is probably the club that gets the most amount of use. So and this is after a like full a gravel, season. Gravel shots, bunker shots. Can you tell where I miss? My, yeah, I'm missing on the toe. Now here's the chrome one on the outside, but it's, it's, it's holding up it's great It's holding for me. up pretty good. It's, I don't see a lot of wear there. So that's one full season. So you don't yeah. have to worry about the black wearing off too much. I got a lot of gouges and stuff just from hitting off like gravel once in a while or. I keep it in the grass tape. Yeah, I can't. But look at even right here, it's, I mean, it's a little wearing, but not bad. No. So I think, I think the black holds up pretty well, honestly. What do you like the looks of better? The black? The black. Standing over it, the black just looks Kay. mean. Here's a difference between the chrome and the black too. The chrome is definitely your classic, if you're a, a classic golfer, you like the, all the ins and outs of a retro look, the, the silver, the chrome is the way to go. Yeah. But if you're young and you know, you like, not, not young, that's not the right word. But if you like a new, the new trendy look of black clubs, a lot of, mm -hmm. a lot of brands are doing it. Mm -hmm. I think every brand's got a black edition. Yeah. Okay, so in conclusion, there's our feedback. I've been fit for a set of Gen 3s, Gen 4s, Gen 5s. The guys that fit me at the local PXG place, great guys. Yeah, great, great guys. Great to work with. They know their stuff. Great fitters. So I, I don't have anything bad to say outside of the fact that- Your handicap's way up. Yes, I think that's more me though. Mm. But <laughs> here, here's the thing. I've been a PXG fanboy and been playing PXG for what, five years? Yeah. So back when I started playing them, they were like the Maserati or the, the Bentley of golf clubs. Yeah. Comes in really nice wrapping, over the top club head covers. Like it's, it's a bougie, yeah. luxurious brand. Yeah, and that's part of the price tag. You knew that going in. Knew that going in. Um, the expensive price tag didn't necessarily drop my score though. No. Now, 
I don't know what they're doing because now they're almost like the budget brand. Would yeah. you say? Right now with that driver being 289, yes. 289. Taylor made stealth. It's five ninety nine. I saw I saw a ping last night at PJ Superstore, a G four two five, just like that one, and it was still like two hundred and seventy dollars used. Used. And it was it was abused. <laughs> like it was somebody had destroyed that thing for a season, and you get a brand new PXG for ten dollars more than that. So I don't know what their their motto is, but they went from a luxurious Rolex type golf product that was exclusive. Not a lot of people played it because they were so overpriced. Yeah. It's and like now, Tag of Talladega Nights. It's the yeah. magic man. We don't know what's up their sleeve. They got something. So I don't know. So for me, that's, I don't know what their, their game plan is. They went from really bougie high end to um, being almost like a budget model product. And maybe that's temporary. We don't know. Time will tell. But I tell you what ticks me off is when you pay two grand extra that you didn't really need to. Yeah. That if you had waited eight three months, months. not but, even. But hey, I, my handicap, my six handicap. Months. Yeah, it's been worth dropped, it for you. Yeah. Um, what I'm getting at is I don't know what their business model is. I, they confuse me, and I've always been PXG loyal. I've always been a PXG fan fanboy, but I'm starting to get a little curious. With what now? So we're a fitting center in here, and we've been testing. A, can I finish? Yeah, sorry. Been testing a lot of clubs. And then I'm starting to realize we're start hitting other brands in here and start testing other brands. There's a lot of really, about that one in your really hands. good stuff on the market. These are the uh, Mizuno hot metals. I'm getting fitted for a set of these on Friday. <laughs> I'm not saying it's going in the bag, but I love my PXG irons. But what I want to see, is there a club out there that can pull the PXGs out of the bag? And I'm going to get fitted for a set of these and kind like of see king how of the it goes. Hill. Oh, whoa, 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 wrong, wrong back. Wrong back. It's like a King of the Hill scenario you're putting up. What is that? King of the Hill. What it's do like you mean? It's like the game we play as kids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. which one's going to stay up top? Is the Mizuno going to take the throne? So let me just hit a, a Mizuno what? 8 iron here. Let me just... <laughs> let me hit in a Mizuno 8 iron. <laughs> so we're carrying Mizuno in the store now, too. And I'm just kind of more curious. You know, can I cheat on my... Can I cheat on PXG? Should I cheat on PXG? It's worth a taste. Should I step outside a little Just bit? Just dip your toe quick. Let's see what this little eight iron can do. Oh. So that's stock. This is not fitted to me. This is just a demo set for the showroom. 194 yard eight iron. It's like a rocket ship coming off this club face. Dude, I've, I've, never heard, I've never seen you hit a club better. And that's off the rack. Off the rack. So I'm really excited to get fitted for this. Um, Dude, your distance is back. That distance you struggle with all season. So that's going to be the oh, challenge wee. going forward. Is Tate and I have very, very nice full bag Gen 5 setups. And we've got a season in them. We, we've, we've played probably, what, 55 rounds? Did we play 50? I don't think we played 55 times. That's like twice a week. <laughs> maybe. Maybe we did. <laughs> that's about what we were. Sometimes we were playing three or four times a week. So... That's gonna be the challenge. You guys gotta subscribe because you gotta stay tuned to see if there's a club out there that can pull the Gen 5s out of the bag. Yeah. So stay tuned. Time will tell. Hopefully that gave you guys some good feedback if you're shopping or wanting PXG products for yourself. That's just been our experience. Yeah. Um, I do think there's some good, better equipment out there. We just gotta hunt for it a yeah. little bit. But, but right now that's a bargain. You can't beat the value. Yeah, the value of what you're paying it's for hard a PXG bag. I mean, that's, yeah. you'd be hard set to find another brand at that level of club through the bag, everything for that price. Yeah. It's a phenomenal deal. All right, we'll see you guys next time.